Jed, I want to get your take in terms of um, the downfall that we saw in 2022 and also the rebound. And with respect to the downfall, I think it's, you know, it's been so well covered in the media uh, in terms of FTX and, and obviously fraudulent behavior. Um, but I, 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 I think we should talk about it in the sense that people are afraid, I think, to get back into the space. What, what would you say to that? Or what, what is your take on FTX? Yeah, so looking at like the history of the industry, it's really interesting. We have very consistent uh, bear bull cycles. So we just got off our fourth cycle. Um, and uh, each time the the crypto industry, the crypto market cap grows you know, considerably, um, I think we hit $3 trillion. Um, and now we're sitting about $1.2 trillion for the entire industry, um, which is significantly bigger than even the highs during the last bull market. So um, and there are various things that could cause this, um, you know, it, it aligns pretty well with something called the Bitcoin happening, um, and, uh, which happens every four years. And typically when a Bitcoin happening happens and, and really quick, what it is, is the miners who are, who are verifying the transactions on Bitcoin, they get rewards for doing that, for giving their compute power and electricity. So that, that get, that decreases every four years, uh, about every four years, um, and so the next happening is actually about a year from now. Um, and so it's typically aligned with that. And then what happened last cycle, um, the thing that kind of launched us, so happening happened. And then we had the launch of uh, something called decentralized finance, DeFi. Uh, we also had uh, NFTs. And then we also had institutions um, putting a, uh, putting a um, uh, some some capital into the market. So yeah, so crypto went crazy. Um, you know, we saw an incredible run up. We saw incredible participation. We saw, you know, many, many strong companies being founded. And then, yeah, and then um, I think we, we got over our skis and the companies um, took too much leverage. They thought it was like up only. And uh, yeah, they got crushed and, you know, Sam mm -hmm. and, and FTX, they, uh, they, they kind of fell into that trap where mm -hmm. they're trying to make all back with one trade and they used, um, and, you know, their customers money, uh, which is obviously fraudulent and, uh, that hole wasn't ever covered. And now, you know, that kind of caused a, a big, a big rift in the industry. Um, and, uh, you know, we've had to step back, especially as Sam was very connected with government officials and, and, and kind of all, all that. So, um, so yeah, now 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 where are we? Um, like I said, now cycles. we're ripping to the upside, and I, I I think it's really surprised a lot of people, and that's why I started up by saying like you know if you haven't looked because we were afraid in 2022, it's up 74 percent, and you know what, what do you think the drivers are? I mean I, I feel like in some ways inflation subsided, people started to think that the U.S. Federal Reserve won't continue to raise rates. Um, I think that's helped, but but also let's talk about. The failure of of, um, of SVB, uh, the Silicon Valley Bank, that really seemed to give it a boost. Yeah, so this year has been great um, for crypto, maybe not for the the crypt, the, rec, the traditional markets. So basically, the reason Bitcoin was invented was, was Satoshi Nakamoto did it because of the 2008 financial crisis. So this tool, this this, this option wasn't available. So we're seeing massive massive issues in traditional finance with the bank crisis with svb with um signature and um you know the other the other banks that, that are really struggling um failing and, and inflation going crazy so what's happening is you know well the, the theory that's happening is institutions and many many others are starting to hedge the us dollar by buying bitcoin so again this option wasn't available in 2008 and now here's a way for you to have some off ramps, to have some protection in case, um, you know, in case the the de-dollarization actually happens. Um, we've seen examples of this happen in, in other countries like Argentina, which had inflation above forty percent uh, average on, since two thousand twelve. They fully incorporate like as soon as they get their their uh, their pesos, they they spend as much as they can and then transfer it all to crypto, um, mostly into into stable coins, um, but also Bitcoin. And so I think that's a big reason why we're seeing the, the run up 
of um, you know of, of, of the of the industry, and uh, mm-hmm. we're we're seeing all these companies that are building in the space that are supporting the industry and kind of bring it to the next the next level. Hmm. It, it's so interesting, you know. I don't think here in North America we can appreciate what it's like to live with forty percent inflation since two thousand and twelve as a significant use case for for tra- uh, transferring your dollars to to Bitcoin. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. 